Everyone's scared of spiders, but the common reassurance is that they're scared of you too. You can't beat the feeling that comes from an unseen insect scurrying across your arm or a centipede worming its way out of your shoe. How about if it was three feet long? Well, back then, monsters like these were all over. That's why in today's video, we're about to tell you 10 terrifying prehistoric bugs and animals. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to Museum Media. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never more of these interesting videos. And without further ado, let's begin with number 10, Undersea Squid Shrimp. Anomalocaris canadensis resembled a strange mixture of shrimp and squid. It was three feet long with a mouth full of razor-sharp teeth. Chinese fossils show a massive undersea arthropod that lived 500 million years ago. With its enormous serrated teeth that looked like a huge cigar cutter, it probably ate smaller crustaceans. And with its powerful mandibles, it probably caught bigger fish. Number 9. Giant Crab More than two feet long, Isotelus rex was scavenging the ocean floor during the Paleozoic era nearly 500 million years ago. The creature looked like a very large horseshoe crab with a thick armored shell, multiple body segments, and compound eyes. Isotelus rex and other trilobites were simple and adaptable organisms, managing to survive for some 300 million years. Number 8. Giant Dragonfly Even though dragonflies today have an unduly ferocious name, their ancestor, M. permiana, would have deserved the name, dragon. Although not really dragonflies, they were very closely related to griffinflies, but very close. That was probably the largest insect ever. Its wingspan was more than two feet, and it grew to about 17 inches long. The insect's name was Meganeropsis, and researchers think it ate animals as large as frogs and squirrels. Number 7. Giant Snail Currently, the largest snail is the giant African land snail, which can reach 7 inches in length and has a shell diameter of 3.5 inches. That's quite a lot for a snail. Imagine, though, that the prehistoric C. giganteum snail could reach nearly two feet in length. The name was a giveaway, really. Paleontologists believe it lived in oceans that covered France 50 million years ago, so you can imagine what sort of terror it might have inflicted upon SpongeBob and Squidward then. Number 6. Monstrous Sea Scorpion The first Jackalopterus reneniae fossils were found in Germany in 2007. Now we know it was a really big sea scorpion, measuring 8 feet long. In fact, its pincers were over 18 inches long. In fact, there was a scorpion the size of a crocodile that lived in the seas until 250 million years ago. Number 5. Killer Land Scorpion Pulmona scorpius kirktonensis is another species of scorpion, but this time it lives on land. It can grow to over 2 feet long. This creature lived during the Devonian period 400 million years ago and probably ate smaller arthropods and insects, but its sting would have been powerful enough to kill some animals. Number 4. Manipulator Cockroach An ancient predatory cockroach called Manipulator modificaputus had some interesting characteristics that made it look like an insect chimera. About 97 million years ago, it probably stalked the forest floor in the dark. With a length of about 1 centimeter, it's not going to break any records. Despite all that, its triangular head, long legs, and mouth parts made it a formidable hunter of other nocturnal arthropods. The fossilized remains of this insect were discovered in a mine in Noji Bum, northern Myanmar. It had an extinct crane fly body shape and graceful wings, and it captured prey by using its short, strong spines on the front legs. Number 3. Giant Centipede Euphoberia tracta resembled the modern centipede in its shape and behavior, but was more than 3 feet long. There are fossil records of these beasts all over Europe and North America. No one really knows what they ate. However, even the modern giant centipede, which only grows to 10 inches in length, can feed on birds, snakes, and bats. Imagine what kind of prey a three-foot version would take down. Number 2. Giant Clam Platyceramus wasn't a bug, but its length of 10 feet more than makes up for it. P. platinus is one of the biggest bivalves ever found. Compared to the modern giant clam, P. platinus would have been two and a half times wider and probably a lot heavier. Number 1. Even More Enormous Centipede Arthropleura was an ancestor of centipedes and millipedes. It could grow to more than eight feet long, and the fatter ones could be a few feet wide. Think of it as something like that brushing up against your leg. Although it was an invertebrate, it was so massive that it probably had few predators, and it is by far the largest invertebrate species ever found. Arthropleura lived more than 300 million years ago in what is currently North America and Scotland. And that's it for today's video. We hope you liked the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and for more such content, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.